I'm someone that really struggles to wake up in the morning. Recently, I've changed around my morning routine to make it as uplifting and motivating for the rest of the day as I can. We are going to go to the gym this morning. I just remembered I need to sign up to even get the free membership. Rosina is gonna come and pick me up, which is exciting because both of us don't go to the gym. If anything, we just do like home workouts. I really wanna try that like method. It's like an incline of 12, speed of seven for 30 minutes, I think. But we need to pick our gym outfit. And then I'm gonna try to not eat anything before because I think it's better if you work out on an empty stomach. I've got my one day free trial before I end up buying it. We just finished at the gym. You can see my face is like red. It was pretty fun. It was hard, but it was also our first day. So we're only going out from here. Yeah, exactly. So while we were at the gym, we decided to make a whole plan. We're gonna try to come like three or four times a week. And then we're gonna have like leg days and arm days and abs days and all those days. We're gonna have a summer body yeah. by 2021 20, summer. summer. Now we're gonna go to Body Energy Club and we're gonna get maybe like a smoothie, get some of that protein stuff. We work out all day. Yeah, we're gonna be beasts. Yeah. <laughs> that almond butter dream with raspberries in it. It's actually really good. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, and whey protein. Also, oh my god, someone recognized me oh, yeah. <laughs> at the gym and they asked for a picture with me. Girl, if you're watching this. Oh, her name is Ava. She was really sweet. But that was really cute and I was like so awkward because I never know what to do. We're gonna give you a little haul from the things that we bought because now we're like gym pros. Mm -hmm. We both got a little water bottle and it's got the baking thing. So we can use our pre-workout. Yeah, I don't have any protein. So I just got protein by the Body Energy Club brand. I hope it's good. I feel like a lot of people have this one. So we bought a pre-workout and BC AA or whatever. Yeah. Which I think you drink during your workout. So you're like super energized. So we're just gonna like split it in half and like keep it in the car or something. <laughs> got both watermelon flavors. This is a pre-workout, which I'm actually really excited. I've never taken pre-workout, but I know it gives you a lot of energy. You're gonna be so hyped in the yeah. gym. <laughs> and we're gonna start going early. So it's yeah. gonna help us out. We have to set ourselves up for success. Mm -hmm. And it's like, now we're committed. Now we are. We have a free trial on Sunday. We'll get our membership then. Day two. <laughs> Still have the free trial check. We bought free workout check. Then my audio cut out, but we tried our pre-workout and it smelled very strong and tasted very strong like sour watermelon. Don't know if we will try this again. Okay, but in all seriousness, it's actually been like a week and a half since I recorded this morning routine and I've actually been to the gym every single morning or at least with the exception of like three mornings or something. Been going every day at like 8.30 in the morning with my friends. It's been so motivating and actually helping me so much throughout my day, being more energized and I feel overall a lot more fit and confident in my body. If it was one of your resolutions to work out in the new year or start a workout routine in 2021, there is still time. It's February 1st, the day that I'm editing this and we can just pretend that it's January 1st. I don't have a super specific workout routine right now now I'm just doing a little bit of everything and I'll probably film a week of workouts coming up soon but anyways back to the video skincare right now. I'm feeling so refreshed, so good. I kind of did my bed, not really. It's a good start to your morning and makes you feel like you've already accomplished something. I'm going to go downtown and take pictures for Instagram and just like content in general. I have some sponsorships that I need to shoot for. So I still need to do my makeup and get ready, do my hair, all of the above. And I also need to make breakfast. It's actually already 11. I'm probably going to have a smoothie bowl and get some protein powder in there. Before I do that, I'm going to write in the five minute journal. If you guys haven't gotten one of these already, I highly suggest doing it. It is the cutest little journal. I always see like bloggers and like Instagram people take pictures with these because it's so aesthetic. Just write in the date at the top. There's like a little quote and every single day has a different one. And then you write what you're grateful for, what would make today great, and your daily affirmations. I'm gonna do it right now before I go have my breakfast. And then at night you can do the three amazing things that happened today and then how could I have made today even better. Which I just think is so cute. And it also has some pages in the front here that just have what should I write before going to sleep, my morning routine, creating a better day, etc. It just has a bunch of cute little pages. It's Especially if you're into like making gratitude lists or manifesting or affirmations or just like having a really set morning routine I highly recommend this book. I've only done like a few pages in it because I just got it Time for the most important meal of the day, breakfast of course. Today I had a yogurt bowl, I used some oat milk, body energy, vanilla whey protein powder, raspberry yogurt, frozen berries, one banana, some almonds, and I also used granola, but I forgot to show that. I'm just putting all my fruit into my cup. I only used half the banana and like three quarters of the protein scoop. I then added like a spoon of yogurt and just enough milk to get it to blend properly.
I definitely didn't make my bowl thick enough, so when I added the topping, some of them started to sink in, but I added granola, some chia seeds, and cut up the other half of my banana to place on top, and that was it. Oh my god, this lemon water is so sour. I highly recommend drinking lemon water. I'm pretty sure it's like really good for you. High in antioxidants probably. Tastes really good and looks very aesthetic. Also, my bowl looks kind of concerning now. I definitely should have made it thicker so that my ingredients on top would actually float at the top and not like slowly sink in. Mmm, but it's so good. I mean, it's actually really healthy, especially if you use like a soy milk or almond milk or oat milk. That's my favorite. I mean, like chia seeds are really good for you and almonds and like granola. You can definitely get like a healthier one. Also, just using fruit. You can also add ice to make it like thicker, I think. If you guys haven't had protein before, I think it's especially good if you're working out. It actually doesn't taste that bad and you can definitely get like good tasting ones. I tried a peanut butter cereal milk one and it made this movie taste really good. You can also add like spinach in it, which I wasn't bold enough to do at this time, but I feel like a spinach matcha one would be really good and it would be like a nice green color. But anyways, I'm gonna finish a little bit of this and like go on my phone for a little bit But I'm running a little bit late because I need to start getting ready So I'll probably eat this while I'm doing my makeup at the same time some deodorant this is the dove dry spray i like these so much better than like the regular like stick ones but i don't know if they're that great for the environment so i guess you guys can let me know down below but i honestly think that they work a lot better than like the regular ones and like make me not sweat it smells really good and then i'm gonna put on some perfume this is the good girl by carolina herrera it just looks like this i just have like the travel size one but i think i'm gonna get the big one because it smells so good but i'm just gonna put it on my wrist and tap do not rub at least that's what i hear the thing say i don't even know how to like tap in my neck i just like squeeze my neck to the side then we smell very good hopefully this lighting isn't like too grim it is so gray outside i'm just turning on my straightener so that i can do that in a little bit i already washed my beauty blender so i'm just gonna pop in right into my makeup routine i feel like i'm always requested what my makeup routine is it's a little bit different when i'm going to take photos so i guess i'll kind of show it to you guys but i'm gonna start off with the it cosmetics cc cream kind of like foundation but it's a little thinner so i like it a little bit better but oh my god guys Yesterday I was doing my makeup and I couldn't find my eyelash curler So I used such a bad one and it literally it broke off half my lashes I'm gonna insert a picture here so you guys can see it but like it's so sad literally half my lashes just like said bye They're they're just gone. So I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit sad I think I need to buy a like lash serum or something to grow them back I need reviving and help. Please keep my lashes in your prayers I know a lot of people like whenever they're doing their makeup They're always like this is not what I do every day because I like to give my skin a break and obviously the goal is to be confident no matter what and not need makeup to feel good but i feel so much better with makeup and i don't think that that's like a bad thing i think if it makes you feel confident there's no shame in wearing it and also like some people that are naturally like so good at makeup or they're you know really talented why would they not wear a lot of makeup if they can and i personally don't find it uncomfortable or anything so i don't mind wearing it like every day i also think it's so fun to do especially during quarantine i think it's so fun to get ready and it makes you feel like you have something to do you know what i mean and like be more productive or at least for me i don't know if that's a sad thing or not but i feel way more productive when i have makeup on i just feel like i'm ready for the day when i'm like bare faced it just feels like sleep time and relax time which is not always what we want i'm then going to go in with my nars creamy radiant concealer and go on my problem areas i don't really have like problem skin i guess you would say like no acne or like scarring really for me what makes a big difference is my skin tone i guess it like changes because i have kind of like birthmarks and stuff so concealer honestly is my best friend and this one is so good I highly recommend it if you have really dark circles or like fine lines under your eyes i find this one to be the best one i also saw like a life hack that says if you leave it on for like a few minutes it kind of makes it more coverage because it like sticks onto your face it's not my favorite technique because i feel like then I can't rub it out properly and before it sets into the fine lines in my face i'm just gonna apply some translucent powder so normally when i do my makeup i actually listen to music or i watch a youtube video i think i'm gonna listen to some music so i just have my speaker here it's so cute you guys can also check out my spotify by the way i'll put it up on the screen here it's just my name or in the description down below oh i'm gonna listen to emily star's playlist i just followed her spotify yesterday and she has some good music and a lot of the songs that she listens to are not ones that i tend to listen to like i normally listen to like indie or like soft music and hers are very like r&b rap i'm just going to listen to this playlist called paris hilton's coke bag interesting name i love it but <laughs> anyways i'm gonna do
do my makeup and you guys will hear what I'm doing next. To bronze, I've been using my MAC powder. I think this is actually a face powder, but it is my holy grail. I've been using this so much recently and it makes for such a pretty bronze look. I also use this other bronzer just to kind of glow over my face and then some blush. I apply this to my cheekbones and my nose. Then I use my MAC powder or any neutral to go over my eyelid as a base. I also used a brown in this Morphe palette to go in my crease. For my eyebrows, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade and I just use this with an angled brush. Then use that same brush to do my eyeliner. I just use any kind of brown or dark red eyeshadow color and line the top of my eye and a wing. And I also do this on my lower lash line. I'm then curling my eyelashes properly this time and applying this waterproof mascara. It is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Then I'm just using a random highlighter from a Tarte palette and I use this on my cheekbones, my nose, my inner corner, my brow bone, and my cupid's bow. Then I applied the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss. I'm actually obsessed with this lip gloss. It's so glossy and actually plumps your lip. After this, I used some hairspray to set down my eyebrows, curled my lashes again, and then used this NYX lip liner. Over top of that, I used a drugstore lip gloss, and that is the finished look. Now we're gonna work with my hair, and my hair is so bad because obviously I worked out this morning, but I don't have enough time to wash it. So we're gonna go with the classic sleek back ponytail because what else would I do? That's my go-to hairstyle now. It's basically the perfect hairstyle if your hair is greasy because since it's already sleeked back, it's like supposed to look gelled. This is just like a Dove gel, honestly, and it would probably work. And I grab so much of it and just put it all in my hair. And then I'm gonna add a bunch of hairspray. And I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, oh, I wish I could rock that hairstyle, but I'm gonna look like an egg. Don't knock it till you try it because I only started doing this hairstyle like literally like three weeks ago because I never gave it a shot because I thought I was just gonna look like an egg. But it's honestly pretty flattering, especially if you have a middle part and if you like home it kind of like this, like on a sideways thing. When it's meant to be super tight, it looks like you're supposed to look like that. It looks very high fashion. Make sure you hairspray the back here. And I'm also using a smoothing brush. You may not have one of these because I feel like this isn't super common to have. I just have it because of cheer. I'm just going to grab a tiny little spoolie and just kind of loosen it up here. I'm just going to straighten this. Okay, and this is the final hair. I'm going to apply this Argan Oil of Morocco. I'm going to take a tiny little piece and wrap it around my hair and then bobby pin it right here under my hair. <laughs> car i am ready to take on my day my morning felt very um what do you want to call it healthy and just overall really well i'm so excited to start going to the gym more often start grinding get that summer bod waking up really early obviously every morning looks different this is a very glamorized version of my morning routine as i'm showing you the best version of myself but don't compare yourself to other people that you see online especially in youtube videos i feel like a lot of productive day in the life or productive morning routines or productive night routines may cause you to feel as if you are not as productive as that person but just keep in mind that it's probably not the routine every single day and it's more the routine that they're showing you to give you a general guideline and obviously make it interesting enough for you to watch. I only have school like twice a week and it's at like 9 a.m. So most of my mornings are pretty fluid. I don't know what the word is, but like they're always interchanging. But this is what my days have been looking like. And if you can't work out at the gym, there's always home workouts that you can do. I just like search up random YouTube videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below this emoji and tell me what time you wake up at. And also don't forget to turn on post notifications. Subscribe down below. Have a blessed day night morning whatever it is i love you guys